They want you to see that you, Ukrainians are heroic. Ordinary Ukrainians, not just the military, want to defend their land. Why did they go on that massive campaign of brainwashing to make you believe that ordinary Ukrainians are willingly going to fight in this war? I'll tell you why. I want to help you understand why you should run away from mainstream media. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky declared martial law on his countrymen. Martial law. I've never in my life seen where anybody praised martial law until this season of Russia-Ukraine war. I've never heard it in my life. Martial law. Not a good thing. Look it up. And what was the martial law? Every man between the ages of 18 and 60 must not be allowed. They are not begging you to please consider to fight. They say you mu it's compulsory. Must not be allowed out of Ukraine. You must stay and fight by whether you like it or not. So if you can take a pause for a minute now, tune out the mainstream media. And just come back to yourself and ask, is this a very heroic thing? Is this a very beautiful stuff? Is this a patriotic thing to make an order, not an appeal, an order? Whether you are trained or not, whether you're suffering from high blood pressure or not, it's not our business. It doesn't matter who you are. If you fall between 18 and 60, stay back. Don't let them go. They even stopped people using cars to drive out of Ukraine for escape because they say most of the cars are driven by men. So make sure that every man is kept behind in a time of war. And who are you fighting with? A superpower like Russia. And you're asking your young men who have not had a single training in military warfare, in guerrilla warfare, in conventional warfare, to stay back and carry arms. Do you think that just knowing how to shoot a gun is the same thing as knowing how to fight in a war? Do you know how many ordinary Americans can shoot guns for self-defense? They will faint the moment they hear the sound of a rocket-propelled grenade. Not everybody is prepared for war. War takes a lot of psychological preparation. It takes a lot of mental conditioning. It takes a lot of emotional maturity. It takes a lot of resistance. When you see all those soldiers who go through all kinds of very unimaginable trainings, tough trainings to toughen them and give them resistance, do you think it's a joke? You think they are doing it for show for movies? And so you tell your countrymen that they must just go pick up weapons and fight Russia to defend their homeland. And you didn't even ask yourself, how can this be right? You just saw the media promoting it and you joined to promote it. That's why they started carrying out that campaign. You know why? Because they knew that when people start asking questions, they will know where this has happened before in history. You yourself, do you know where it has happened before? The only place I remember, I'm not saying this is the only place this happened, but the one that I remember where this thing has happened before was Hitler. Hitler, the same Hitler that mainstream media, that Western nations have painted to us as grandfather of evil, as Satan himself, the one who ordered the killing of millions of Jews, who thinks that Africans are monkeys and animals, who hates anyone that is not his bloodline. The same man who has what we call Nazism. Nazism is the political ideology of Hitler. And that ideology says that if you're not in my bloodline, you are just something meant to be eaten and wasted. You are not a person. That's the man. The only man I know who has done exactly what Zelensky is doing right now in history. When the Allied forces were approaching they were even by the border of the German Reich. By the time they were approaching the border and the firepower they had were more than that of Hitler. You know what Hitler did? He quickly told every young man 
that is able-bodied between the ages of 16 and 60 must stay back and fight. It is only a matter of time before Hitler's regime is defeated. The armies of the Allied forces are at the borders of the German Reich. The Allies are advancing from all sides with superior force. Die Stunde des Kampfes für jeden Einzelnen ist gekommen. The Wehrmacht suffers great losses. Hitler orders that all able-bodied men between the ages of 16 and 60 be called to defend their country. Can you see the creepy similarities here? Putin is about to come in and has more firepower and Zelensky says 18 to 60 stay back. Allied forces were approaching and had more, more firepower and Hitler said 16 to 60. This one was 16 to 60 Hitler and Zelensky upgraded his small and said 18 to the same 60. It's documented. So this is the mindset of the man that is presented to you today as the hero. As a wartime hero of our time, of Ukraine, that must be celebrated and prayed for by everybody. If only we can reason on our own, if only we can tune out the lies and just let common sense rest and abide with us. Don't force your opinion on me, allow me. To reason it out myself and then you'll be free did you think about this before did you think it was okay to do no now look who has done it in history hitler and so they are bombarding you with images videos of ukrainians saying we will fight as if they are the ones doing it on their own da, 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 da. they don't want you to pay attention because they know that you are going to start asking is it not this man that did it in history hitler why is he doing it Look at what Zelensky did and is being promoted. Now, Ukraine first told us they have killed 4,500 Russian soldiers. And today they've upgraded it to 6,000 soldiers. I know that is very laughable. Everybody will look at it and say, these guys are insane. And to me, it is the height of insanity. They want to prove to you that because Ukrainians have been told to stay back and fight. You see the way the media is showing you every day. Uh, the Russia did not expect the underrated Ukraine. They didn't expect they would see this kind of resistance. Because now they are fighting not just the Ukrainian army, but the Ukrainian people. Ordinary citizens who are coming to fight. They are the ones that Russia is meeting. They said they have killed 6,000. These are trans soldiers. You've killed 6,000 of them. Have you given us the casualty figures on the Ukrainian side? Let's know what happened to all these untrained males that you people have chosen to sacrifice. No, nobody is giving us figures. They just say, oh, Russia has bombed there and they killed civilians. What are your casualty figures? Russia has even come out to admit we lost about 400 and something men, which is believable. Because Russia isn't really fighting Ukrainian soldiers. They are fighting EU and America inside there. They are not joking. They have professional fighters facing Russia there. But it doesn't, it doesn't mean that Russia does not have an upper hand. So if Russia takes casualties, I can understand that. But where are your own casualties? On trained soldiers, nobody is telling us how many have been killed. But the trained ones, you have killed 6,000 of them. Well done, Ukraine. Well done. This is media mind control. This is psychological warfare that they are carrying out, destroying people's brain cells with all kinds of lies, unimaginable lies. Because the media is the mouthpiece of Satan. They are built around lies. They exist on lies. They thrive in lies. The people who control them are the first sons and daughters of Satan. They tell lies like it is their native language, not like it is actually their native language. What did the Bible say about Satan? The Bible says he is the father of all lies. That's why they will tell you, oh, we have killed 6,000. 
but they are not telling you how many of their own people are killed. Do you understand? They are not telling you how many of their own people are killed. All those Ukrainian men are being used as human shield. So when Russia is saying, I want to go into Ukraine to denazify, Nazi, to denazify, to rid Ukraine of Nazi elements in there, you can understand now there is a way of now connecting the dots. If Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky can do exactly what Hitler did, if we can find videos which I have seen with my eyes of a particular soldier fighting on the Ukrainian side having a swastika, Nazi swastika on his helmet, if we can look at what these officials that surround Ukrainian president are doing to our African people, and we are not still able to connect the dot of Nazism inside that place, then I don't know what it is that we need to have our eyes opened. You see what is going on? But the media is refusing to tell you the truth. They want us to promote. First of all, they told you it's unprovoked war. Do you know how many people around the world today believe that Russia just woke up one night and just ah invaded Ukraine? On top of that, they tell you, oh, look, the Ukrainian army, they're held, they're holding Russia. Look, oh my gosh. As we speak today, Russian army, they are in full control of Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkiv. That second largest city contains the largest population of Russian-speaking people outside of Russia in the whole world. This is to tell you how many Russian-speaking people live in Ukraine. Kharkiv, Crimea, Donbass, where you have Donetsk and Lugansk, all Russian-speaking Russia speaking, massive number of people. That's why Russia said, stay neutral. You are too close to us. You cannot be hosting nuclear weapons because the guy went to threaten. You saw it in the media. I showed it to you. He went to even threaten that they are going to restart their nuclear facilities. He said he's going to revisit the Budapest Agreement. You signed an agreement that you will never, ever dare to go close to these nuclear facilities. When you possess nuclear power, you can eliminate any nation in minutes. And you are not just close to Russia. You are almost, a, you are just a part of Russia. Unlike any other one of these members that broke away from Soviet Union, Ukraine is about the closest to Russia, has the largest population of Russian speaking people. That's why the guy said, You can't be doing this. Stay neutral. Don't rush to go and join NATO. NATO is our enemy. They come there now, they will help you to activate your nuclear power, and they are going to help you to get all kinds of weapons that will be detrimental to our own existence. It wasn't a suggestion, it was signed. And, for, and Zelensky had the guts to go out in the media to say he will revisit it, meaning that potentially he can actually activate. On top of that, there was shelling happening inside the Russia speaking Donetsk region, which was what Russia looked at and said, you know what? Waiting and wasting time here could be very dangerous. I think we need to take action. And they went in. And the media is now telling everybody that it was unprovoked. That there was nothing. That they were just there standing on their own. And they just went in there. And now look at what they are doing with sanctions. You see what they are doing to Russian athletes and sportsmen. You see what is going on? Every single thing they own, they have thrown it into this war. Everything that belongs to them. Joseph Borrell of EU Commission, I think he's the EU Foreign Secretary, yeah, was telling the world that we are not targeting Russians. We are after Vladimir Putin, not the ordinary Russians. 
the Russian athletes and Russian sports people are being targeted across board. And when you don't target them, the castle culture of the West will come after you. The one that broke my heart the most is the one that just happened yesterday. Russian athletes disabled who were in Beijing to attend the Winter Olympics, the Paralympics in, in Beijing. When they came, they said, why would you allow Russians to attend? Disabled people. People that we believe these sports can help to lift up their spirits because they have disability. And then they showed up and they started putting pressure on IPC and they said, no, we know that you, you feel this way about these guys, but our constitution actually allows them the Russian and the Belarusian athletes to take part in this program. And immediately, the council culture, EU West, they besieged the place and they began to threaten fire and brimstone. They began to show images, appeal to emotion, all kinds of stuff. Why disabled people must not be allowed? Even when the IPC said they are not going to fly Russian flag, no Russian anthem. Just let them attend and be a part of the program as neutrals. This demon incarnate still went there and stopped them from attending. And you tell me you are not after the Russian citizens. These are disabled. Even if you attack any other person. Disabled people. Until they ban them and send them home to Russia. Disabled people. That's how you know when someone is genetically hurt. That is when someone's heartlessness is coming from the pit of hell. That's what EU is displaying. The level of madness I've never seen in my entire life. You will make so many people who didn't even like Russia's action begin to even fall in love with Russia. This is madness on another level altogether. Look at Chelsea. Chelsea's uh, Abramovich. Yeah, he's selling it. For, for 19 years or so, he took this club to victories. Victories. Everything is crumbling just because you want Russia to go. And what is the problem? Russia is too big. Russia is too powerful. We cannot afford to have another superpower when the European Union and NATO is there. How can we have Russia? No, no, no. Russia, Russia, Russia. No, Russia needs to go. And that's why I told you in my previous video. That's why they wanted to make sure that America is with them. You know, the U.S. is the military arm of the Illuminati. Vatican is the religious arm of the Illuminati. London, the city of London, is the economic and financial arm of the Illuminati. These tripods belong to them. So when Trump took over, they didn't see it coming. So Trump cut off the supply because without American financial and military weapon and support, NATO would not exist. So when he cut it off, nothing happened. NATO could not fight any war. NATO was even to the point, I showed you in my previous video, Macron, Emmanuel Macron was saying that NATO was suffering brain death. He cut them off. No war. For whole five, four years that Trump was in power. Less than two years of Biden, war has started again. Because the bridge that was broken has been built back. This is the world we live in. And they are all in agreement that Russia needs to die. That's why everything that makes sense is no longer making sense. You see where United Nations that is supposed to be impartial, even though we know he has a history of partiality, but right now he's so brazen that it will make you want to even cry. UN is taking sides on this matter. Remember, and never you forget this, that this whole thing is all about mass depopulation. They want to eliminate about three quarters of the whole world population. Go and visit Georgia Guidestones and see what is written there. 
I told you, these people will bring it about. How do they want to bring it about? Have you noticed what is happening? Let me give you from stages, okay? Stage one, sanctions are heaped on Russia. Stage two, about half a million euros to buy EU weapons and send to Ukraine to fight Russia. America is budgeting close to half a million to send weapons to go and fight Russia. That is a declaration of war. That's an act of war already in itself. They are having people to come and register and then list to go and join Ukrainians to fight against Russia. EU citizens, UK citizens. This is, you have seen it in the media. I'm not making any of this up, right? So now let's look at the sanction regime. 